welcome everyone and in this video we will start by building our new iOS application which is basically a blog reader application so we are going to use an API from team treehouse which will display their top blogs of this week so basically first I will show you what is the final app and after that we will start building that app same app so let me run that for you so basically till it's running I should tell you something about the app so this app has a main view controller in which there will be a table view which will be showing recent blocks from the API and once we click any blog then it will take us to the new view controller in which the full blog will be displayed inside a UI web view we have already studied about UI web view and also we have studied about table views there is one more thing that we need to learn and it is networking so basically I will tell you about that afterwards so this is the main view controller of our app you can see that at the top we have the heading called treehouse blogs because we are using their API and in the table view you can see that these are the recent blogs that we are fetching from that API and suppose we want to open a particular blog let's say we want to open this blog so you can just click it and you can see you can see that it has transferred us to the second view controller which is basically a web view and it will load the blog that we have just clicked so it is basically due to slow internet connection it is taking up time to load so let's wait oh so you can see that it has opened the blog in our UI web view so if you want to read the blog you can just scroll down like this it is looking very nice and neat so this is the whole blog and also this app has not implementing a functionality which is a back button so we will also code a back button here by which we can go back to the main con main controller and select any other block that we want to so basically I was telling you about networking so for networking we are going to use an external library or you can see a framework called LMO fire you can see that this is the framework or library L LMO fire which is actually not pro not provided by a Apple it is an op open source framework so basically we will install it from the internet so from the next video we will start by creating our project and I will also show you how you can install Elmo fire and other libraries to your iOS project see you in the next video